my name is Alavao Dweller. I'm a Webflow with Anzano Developer, the WWX stack. So today, I want to show you some of the stuff or one of the stuff I've built with the stack. So this one is called SignFetch, and SignFetch is a movie info gathering app. Let me simplify that. SignFetch, when you search for a movie on SignFetch, it returns as uh, basic info you would want to know about movies it returns it for you so uh in this app uh, there are some functionalities like if you are not logged in just a random user not logged in you only you'll be only allowed to search up to three times when you are logged in and you are not a subscribed member you are allowed to you are allowed to search up to 10 times and those are per day three times per day 10 times per day so i did all that with Wiz, and um, this platform is built with the Wiz embed 2.0 and is using sano as the backend in the database so let's dive into sign fetch and explore uh, the features and functionalities of sign fetch so let's get started uh, so this is the search page where this is the playground where you search for movie so let's search for a movie um let's search for avatar so by the way i have to mention uh this movie we are getting we are fetching it from this API called Movies API. So it's had, it, it has several endpoints. We're using this endpoint, search endpoint. So, so that's it about uh, the API. So that's where we are fetching our movies from, or the details, the results you see here. We have each fetch from the API. Mm, so if you click on any movie, mm, example avatar the way of water released in 2022 20, last year december so it is a very high definition of poster it returns the summary the rating the genres is a sci-fi fantasy and action and adventure and also on this platform you can watch youtube trailers of movies I'm going to show you how I set up, how I set that up, and also on this on this platform, you <clears throat> it provides you link of movie you search for on another platform. Let me come again with that. Uh, for example, this avatar it provides you the link of avatar on Vudu, and let's search for another movie so that I can show you better what I mean. I say for example we search for Django uh, so it returns all relevant uh, movies about Django uh, so this I think this is one of the most popular the one released in 2012 so yeah the summary the rating the genres the YouTube trailer and uh, as you can see it returns the link of Django on Apple TV so if you click on this one it will take you to Apple TV and also on this platform our API is not returning download link so uh, we are sorry I cannot provide the uh, download link or uh, sign fetch on sign fetch so the, one of the core feature I talked about earlier um, that if you search up to three times you will be told that you have reached the limit of your daily search login to subscribe but for the sake of this demo I created a function that can allow you to continue searching now I'm going to remove that of course so to allow you to search if you hit uh, the limit again it will block you from searching again 
but let's just log in and test out uh, other functionalities of sign fetch so in sign fetch I also built ability to log in with Google and also to create an account with Google you can create an account from the login by clicking this button well I already have so many accounts I created so let's log in <coughs> when you log in you'll be directed to the dashboard and on this dashboard on this account I already search for a movie so if you search for a movie and you click on it to be saved in your account and uh, it will always appear in these recent uh, uh, movies, the history part of your dashboard. So um, now, if you continue searching, if you continue searching, and it's up to ten times, it it you will be prompt to subscribe that you have reached your limit for the day. So if you want to enjoy unlimited searching, what do you do? You go to go and subscribe. So this platform is integrated with Stripe. By the way, everything done on <clears throat> everything built on this platform is custom. The Stripe integration built customly. Everything custom built from scratch. So if you click on the subscribe button uh, subscribe now button you will you'll be redirected to stripe um so let's quickly make a payment let's make a payment let's make a payment by the way this is a this is a stripe test account it's not a live account. Okay, our payment is successful. Now we're we'll directed back to the pricing page in which our payment status have changed. It has been checked that we have subscribed. If you go to our profile now, on our profile, no, SignFetch is telling us, it's telling me that I am a subscribed member. Enjoy unlimited movie search. You can edit your profile. Let me choose a profile image. Um, okay, let me use let me use my logo. <coughs> I can edit. I can edit my name, my username. So whatever, I'll have an admin. Okay. Let me just say I'll have a good yeah update. Yeah, so our profile image has been updated, the username has been updated. So those are part of the functionalities that has been built on SignFetch a lot. So let's now uh, walk through just few actions or, and, or requests in Wiz. There are a lot of things, a lot of actions going on behind the scene. This is our, the action panel in Wiz. Um, it has been structured into folders based on each page. The dashboard, the, the login page, movie details, the search page, sign up, the general site. So we have a lot of actions that are handling uh, various functionalities. So for example, there is action for these logouts for everything. Um, okay, now let me just show you just few one. This is the request panel in which this um, API. Let me show you how we set it up in which. So we are getting the movie and. Um, so the first thing you do when you are setting up requesting this is to give it a name put it in a folder it's optional that is optional and select an app you would have created an app already and app is basically like setting up uh, 
a base URL. That's, this is not a tutorial, I'm just walking you through. Uh, then you select the method you are using. In this case, it's a guest, it's a get method and a query parameter. There are some query parameters that are required, there are some that are optional. So if you are familiar with working with API, you would know what I'm talking about and headers for authorization. So if if you run this request now, it will return empty because we don't have anything in our uh, we don't have uh, any value here. Okay, let me one more thing I can show you. We go to okay. Let me show you how, how I set up the YouTube. Um, yeah, the YouTube video. It is set up using an iframe. Let me show you. If you go to the action. Um, yeah, movie details using an iframe. So this is it. <clears throat> One of the power of Wizard 2.0 is it allows you to run custom function. You can write your JavaScript and put it in Wiz. It will run it for you. So you are not only limited to the built-in function of Wiz. So you can also bring in your own code or code you got from somewhere like Stack Overflow anyway. So this is so powerful, endless possibility. So in this case, and also when you are setting up action, you have in which there are two type of action. There is an event action and element. Event is the one like that you can trigger with like when the page style loading or page stop loading or when an attribute is present. Like I said, this, uh, this is not a tutorial video. I'm hoping that uh, I'll do some series of tutorial or now I set everything up, uh, set this uh, site up from scratch. Um, I really want to do that. If, if I have the time, I will do it. So um, we are creating this YouTube video using an iframe, not the uh, video elements, not the HTML video element. All the one in Webflow, we have a video element in Webflow. I tried that, it was not working. I in our movie database, we have our API is returning something for us the trailer link. So, what I try is just put the link into the uh, video element dynamically, but it was not working. So, uh, with my research, I discovered I have to use an iframe, create the video with an iframe and I only need this ID. So how will I extract the ID? So that is where Sano comes in. Sano is so powerful. You can do a lot of things in Sano. So I did that. If you go to our end, uh, yeah, our endpoints group, This is the endpoint I'm using to fetch a movie. So I create a variable called YouTube link. And I'm um, using the split filter, which is separated by this sign equals to. And when you use the split, it will split it into an array. Then I'm returning the last uh, item in the array. Is that understood? By the way, if you want to get style with Sano, uh, you can hop over to their YouTube channel and they have a very good documentation. So that's how I return. Then in this endpoint, we are returning to response, the movie and the, uh, the variable that I created, which inside that variable we have the YouTube ID. So that when we get that into ID, I'm passing it into another variable in which called new v, and in our code we still have another variable called YouTube ID in which we are passing the uh, variable created in which into it. And that's 
what will be used to uh, fetch to populate uh, the data for the iframe dynamically so yeah that's it about that um, you can I will drop the link to the platform in the description you can check it out uh, create an account you can do it with Google you can sign it with Google if you want so you can um, subscribe using the uh, the stripe test card 4240 just keep writing 4240 so um, thank you for watching and um, if you want to learn with Anzano uh, so fast um, I would recommend you, uh, uh, you, you I have a course that I can recommend for you I will drop the link to the course in the description so that you can also build you can also be building a functional website like this yeah thank you for watching